Amazing. Oh man, I can't wait. I can't I can't wait to get my camp. Good morning, good morning. We're going for a little ride, gonna visit Nadal in his warehouse. I took the bags off, I took the tour pack off. I want to give a different look now to see uh, maybe it looks a little bit sportier. Today I'm gonna be talking about the search for the perfect exhaust. The perfect pipe pipe for the low rider ST the soft tail. We already know that the can that's going in. It was going to be either a 475 or the 3030. We're going with the 3030 and we have to find the perfect pipe for it. My initial uh, thoughts, I really wanted to go for the stainless steel look. You know, the stainless steel look, I love that look. I think it will uh, match and fit the bronze, the bronze, the bronze rims, the bronze accents of this bike and once the stainless steel heated uh changes color to kind of bronze i would think that would complement the bike and it looked badass obviously it's going to be two into one so the quest the search for the perfect exhaust we started off uh i wanted first thing is a uh, was where was i going to go with the short a short pipe or a long pipe short looks cool sounds great Performance is not as good as a long pipe, but the main reason uh, where I actually chose the long pipe was uh, comfort, comfort of riding. I mean, it's pretty cool, it sounds great, but if you go more than a half an hour riding, it drives you crazy. Get a headache from the loud, loud sound of the pipe. So it's, it was gonna be uh, a long pipe no matter what. chilly and I didn't connect my whew, I didn't collect connect my heated gear I mean I have it let me connect it first showing off so I had a few uh, exhausts in mind one of them was the DND I just love the sound of the DND sound is ferocious I love that raspy that raspy sound and it's got great power as well i mean moonshine use uh moonshine harley uses uh on their builds pretty much almost always the dnd so i was gonna go with the fat cat a little chilly, buddy. it is but i connected my heated gear so i'm good okay just filled up i'm gonna go uh, nearby it's uh, in Newark gonna visit Nadal but on the way I'm gonna tell you uh, the, the search the quest the quest for the perfect exhaust the perfect bike perfect pipe obviously listen to that pipe I, I definitely want I love the sound of the Chromeworks I was searching for Chromeworks the problem is Chromeworks do not make a two into one for a soft tail I'm just waiting for them. I know they are working on it, but that's definitely what I would get. So that's out of the picture. That's out of the question. Then I said, you know what? I'm gonna go, you know, get a nice, nice pipe that sounds well, that sounds good, performs good, and looks great. So which is known, like there's known to be top of the line for stainless steel, that's the HPI. So I went ahead and put an order in for HPI and guess what a lead time a wait a wait time it's back ordered believe it or not there's a 24 a 24 week waiting uh, wait wait time for a pipe that's insane i mean i'm doing the build now i'm not going to wait 24 months so that is out of the question out of the picture
So I was gonna settle for the D&D. I said, okay, I'll go for the D&D because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's great, it's good looking, I love the sound, but it's not, it's not stainless steel, they don't make stainless steel. But I went ahead and actually uh, was gonna order the D&D, and guess what waiting time they have? Six to eight weeks. Next one I was looking at is a Fab 28. Fab 28 uh, looks good. It's a short one. It's a short pipe. And I'm looking for a long pipe. Obviously, uh, not going to help. Then one of the guys said, hey, look at uh, the Thunderheader. Look at a Thunderheader. Thunderheader is a great pipe. I researched it, of course. And it, it really does look great. It's a long pipe. It's only black. I mean black and, and chrome. Black and chrome. And uh, it's got great, great uh, numbers. Great power. So guess what? I went ahead and put, a, put an order in for that. And that as well had six weeks. Six weeks of uh, wait time. I didn't mind anyway because uh, I went down to Daytona. The order was in two days ago. I got a message from uh, my buddy. He says, are you still going with the Thunderheader? I said, yeah, I'm still waiting. It's, I'm four weeks uh, in, probably two, three weeks I should be getting the exhaust. He says, let, let me show you some pictures of a six month old Thunderheader on a bike just like yours. And I look at the pictures. That's a pipe that is only six, six months old. I said, no way. I mean, it sounds great. It looks great. It's got great, great numbers. But I'm not buying something that after six months is going to look like that. So guess what? So I just called off the order. I just canceled the order. And now what do I do? So all along I was looking at, uh, at Bassani. Bassani have some nice looking pipes. Very nice. And they also come in stainless steel, like exactly like I'm looking for. Research a little bit more, and I came across a relatively newer. What? Yeah, two weeks, I think. So, Bassani, a relatively new exhaust. The headers are actually uh, the Road Rage, but the can itself is something they call the Super, a super Bike. And it's a longer can, it reaches almost, almost the, uh, the rear axle, the rear, uh, yeah, the rear axle. And it's got great numbers, it's all stainless steel. What I'm going for so and actually the Bassani has like only a week a week wait so I should be having it the next week and I have some time off hopefully I'll be able to start the cam the cam project next week if not then it's gonna wait uh, for like three more weeks because I have a simulator training in Amsterdam and I invite you guys uh, to, to I invite you guys to come along and see my my uh, semi-annual training program. Every six months we do a training on the simulator. He didn't really pull on me. He dropped pretty much to second or third gear. I just let it. I don't... <laughs>
You could hear his, his rev limiter. I didn't go there. Sound like a little girl making excuses, huh? Pull it at 3,000, you can't, you can't pull away. Put in Bassani Superbike long exhaust stainless steel is gonna be on Grey Ghost. I'm stoked with the 3030 cam in it. Gonna do all the work at Tour Custom Cycles. It's gonna do quite a few videos of the build and the tune and everything. Stay tuned, guys, it's gonna be really cool. over to a motorcycle mall. John's picking up some paperwork over here. Then we'll continue to Nadal's place. We're on our way to Nadal's warehouse. Just finished up at the motorcycle mall. That's what it is. Wow, look at potholes. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! His his rear end was off in the air! Oh my god! It's crazy! And I was complaining about Tottle. Oh my god. Oh what a shitty road. We're at Newark. We're in Newark. A lot of traffic here, tight traffic. Dude, I had that on file! You were like two feet up in the air, you're back tight! Unbelievable! Oh my God! No, forget about it. You're, you're off. You're off the bike. You're off the yeah. That makes me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> that was like we're oh, getting closer to Nadal's warehouse, Mamoun's Falafel restaurant. Uh, Mamoun's Falafel warehouse. It's a warehouse where they prep the food for like seven or eight restaurants they have. A pretty big operation. This is called Ironbound. It's the industrial area of Newark. This is where you get your real falafel over here in America. Mamoun's Falafel. We're in, uh, we're in Mamoun's headquarters over here, the warehouse. We have to, we're just gonna take us and walk us around, but you have to be dressed really funny. Wait till you see John dressed in his- Here's the doctor. Ah, oh, look at me. All right, you've seen this before, right? 
Refrigerator. Falafel. That's the chickpeas before they turn into falafel. That's a, that's a tahini. Tahini and that's the pickles. Doesn't that look silly? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. This is even colder. Freezer. Yeah. Packing room. This is where they pack the, the hummus. The hummus. <laughs> Fix this machine. We want to fix this machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, right? Nadal does all the maintenance on this machine itself. Just as complicated as doing a can. That's Red Bull's arena. Okay, we on the way home. We stopped on the side of the road to pitch the drone up but it's a no-fly zone so we can't uh can't fly it over here the bike looks without the bags looks very sporty we're almost home we can stop over by john's i didn't bring my bags with me of course today so all the stuff is in john's bag right now What's this guy doing? What you doing? So that's it guys, we're back at Mad Max's cave. Hope you enjoy this one. Stay tuned for more fun stuff, guys. I'm Sandy. You're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out.